What's going on everybody? Yankee Cowboy back for another video. Today's video we're going to be talking about the Smith & Wesson 327 Performance Center. I was lucky enough to score a grip for this that I was looking for for a long time guys. I seen it on a video and I searched the internet high and low. They don't make this. It's discontinued. Uh, I was lucky enough to get one on eBay. I paid about $54 for it and I was happy to get it. Like I said guys, they don't make this one no more. So if you find one of these grips after you see this down here on the bench and you have a 327 or any end frame that you want a boot grip for, I suggest you scour the internet, you find one, and you jump on it. It's an awesome grip. But we're going to jump down the bench, and we're going to go over the reasons why I think it's great and why I think it, it's going to be good for somebody who can seal carries. So with that being said, guys, let's hop down and take a look at this thing. All right, guys, so we're down on the bench with the Smith & Wesson 327 Performance Center. It's an 8-shot revolver. Got some other videos on this, guys. If you want to check them out, feel free to scroll back in my catalog of videos and check them out. All right, so what's new? What's the update? Well, the update, guys, if you watch the other videos, like I said, I've been looking for a grip for this gun for the longest time. Uh, I did want something in, in wood, but shooting 357 Magnum, 38 plus P's in this particular frame, it's a very lightweight frame. It's an alloy with scandium and titanium, and it's super light. So you take a lot of recoil in the palm of your hand. So I wanted to get a rubber grip, and I wanted a boot grip, so I, I can seal carry this. It's a conceal carry revolver. And the original grip is an end frame, comes with a big grip on it, and it just, just didn't fit the bill. It didn't look proportionate on, on the revolver. So I picked up this one. This is a Byron's grip. This grip is discontinued. This is an awesome grip. Like I said, I was able to score this thing on eBay for $54, and uh, I, I think it's great. I think if somebody's looking for a rubber grip for their end frame, this thing is awesome if you can find it. Now, what makes it so awesome, guys? Check this thing out. See this? This here, this, this, this cutout, this works out well because obviously it's a boot grip, so you're only going to get two fingers on it. But here's your, your pinky naturally wants to go right here. And with that choil that they have cut out here, the pinky just fits perfect on there, and it feels so comfortable in the hand. So I'm doing this in reverse, guys, so this is a little bit weird. But when you get your, you get your X grip on here, I'm going to have my pinky right here. And then you X your thumbs on it. This thing is just so comfortable in the hand now. Having that choil here for your pinky. Because uh, normally your pinky would just be hanging off in limbo. But now there's actually a place for it. And it doesn't hurt your hand at all because it's as a choil here. So you put that there, guys, with this rubber grip. Now I can fire a 357 Magnum out of it. And it doesn't pound my hand as bad. as a rubber. It takes a lot of the recoil. This is a great grip. It's got a pretty aggressive checkering on it. The back is still open. You can still see the spine of the revolver. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, you feel a little bit of those effects with the, with the spine being exposed, but the rubber does absorb a lot of recoil. Now, I'm shooting, these are Remington Golden Sabres. I was able to score these at a gun show. I picked up a couple of boxes. I don't normally run 357 in here, but I have shot these out of it, and it's not bad with this grip. Normally, I run Hornaday Critical Defense uh, uh, 38 plus P's, and I always run 38 plus P's in, in most of my... Uh, guns that are 357 because 357 is, is kind of a pounding round on a lightweight gun. If you got a small revolver or, or a revolver of this caliber with uh, scandium and titanium being so lightweight, it's just easier to run plus P's. They give you pretty much almost the same penetration and foot pounds. It's, it's pretty close, guys. You're splitting hairs with the 357 versus a good hot 38 plus P. But this grip is great, guys. It, I, I just think it fits the bill for me. Like I said, with that choil here for your pinky, this thing just feels so comfortable in the hand. It just feels great. I love this thing now. It's like the perfect carry package for a revolver for me. It works out well. It's not loaded, guys, so nobody get uh, nobody gets scared. I know I catch a lot of flack sometimes in my videos, you know, if the magazine's loaded or something. But this is clear. Now, the update on this, guys, is I, I've been running this thing at the range. been putting a lot of 38 through it, and this thing's just been flawless. For this little tiny snub nose, two inch barrel, this thing is damn accurate. I mean, this thing blows me away every time I take it to the range, guys. Next time I take it to the range, I'm gonna bring the camera and, and we're gonna uh, shoot some footage of this thing. And I'll show you guys the target. This thing is just spot on. It shoots so well, it's so accurate. It blows my mind every time I shoot this revolver. So happy to have this thing in my stable, in my collection. This is a great revolver. This is one I'm probably never gonna get rid of, guys. I got a friend of mine who's been, <laughs> He's been after me uh, for this particular revolver for a while, but Mike, if you're watching, I'm not giving this one up. 
but you should get yourself one. These are awesome revolvers. And once you, once you get one, you're never going to want to let it go because this thing just shoots that well. It's so light. It's a dream to carry for an end frame. This is a full frame revolver. And this thing is just super light, guys. It's just a great revolver. But back to the grip. This is why we're here. This grip, like I say, guys, I can't say enough about having that pinky there. It's just so comfortable going into that choil. I don't know why anybody else doesn't make a grip like this. All the boot grips that are out there, it's just two choils for these two fingers and your pinky hangs off in the middle of nowhere. But with this particular Byron's grip, you actually have a place for it and it's comfortable. So again, guys, anybody looking for a nice concealed carry grip for your end frame or a K frame, see if you can get your hands on this Byron's. Right now, there's a couple on eBay for $34. Buy it now, which is damn cheap. And if you could get on there and get this for your revolver, I suggest you get over there now and do it. This is a great, great grip, guys. All right, this is just a quick little video, quick little update on what's been going on with the 327. We're going to do another one, guys, like I said, when we go to the range with this. And then we'll do a, you know, we'll do a little more detailed review again. All right, guys, we're going to hop off for some final thoughts. All right, so some final thoughts in the Smith & Wesson Performance Center with the new Byron's grip on their boot grip. I love it, guys. I think if you're looking for a very concealable grip that takes a lot of recoil, I think that if you can get your hands on one of these grips and you find one, pay the price, guys, and get it because it's an awesome grip. All right, guys, be sure to leave me some comments down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next one.